where should you book your Airbnb? Somewhere along the way, you're going to need to come home and go to sleep and stop looking at all the amazing things in Barcelona. I know, bummer. This is James Whalen living in Barcelona. I'm going to throw a couple of solutions and some insights at you. The center. Now, the thing about the center is it's sort of a noise jungle. In terms of sleeping, you probably want to stay away from it. Probably hotels are insulated against all of this, but local apartments are not, and local people are kind of accustomed to it, and they may not be that understanding. Stay away from the center in terms of sleeping. What is the center? The center is a couple of different neighborhoods. I would put together the, the born neighborhood, which you've heard about, El Born the Gothico neighborhood, which is where the main cathedral is and a lot of the big uh, main tourist attractions. And then the neighborhood right next to it called the Reval. The Born, the, the Gothico, and the Reval. These are all really interesting and the oldest part of the city. But in terms of sleeping, it gets very urban and it gets there's just lots of movement and lots of noise at all times, mostly from the tourists. You can imagine just a river of traffic and, and movement and sound pollution. Uh, the area that's probably easiest for most people because it's not so far away is an area called the Eschampla. The Eschampla means the expansion. It was an area that was built in the last 150 years ago, 150 years outside of the, the medieval city. And the thing that's interesting about it is a lot of local people live there. Local people don't live in the center. And the reason for that is it's just more livable. This is a neighborhood that has these kind of squared blocks with cut corners. There's traffic noise, but in terms of sleeping, it's a good way to go. And it's not that far away from uh, the center. There's another neighborhood that's in a beautiful and amazing neighborhood called Gracia. Uh, it's a place that some tourists don't get to, and it used to be a little city outside of the city of Barcelona. The city Barcelona grew up around it, and the Gracia area is still kind of quaint and small. What I would tell you about Gracia is it's probably fine, but avoid it in August. They have this huge party. It's uh, something along the line in the directions of Mardi Gras in New Orleans. Not that extreme, but there's a lot of noise and a lot of music and people staying up at night. The best neighborhood in the whole city in terms of sleeping, in my opinion, is a neighborhood called Saria. This is their gang sign. I used to live there. Seriously, it's a very family-oriented neighborhood. It's out of the city about 15 minutes, right on the train. The train runs right through there into Catalonia, but Saria, it means like, it's like Sarah, if you forget it. Saria is a quaint little old neighborhood. It also used to be its own municipality out, around, out, out of the city, and the city grew up around it. It's beautiful and quaint and small, and in terms of just relaxing, it's probably the best place that I know of that I'm very familiar with, folks. So there you go, you've got them all. I would, if I were just to recap this, I would go with the Eschampla and then Saria, all right? Specific solutions, quirky fun. I appreciate you listening to this. It's Sunday morning, people are still sleeping. I'm waking up, we're all moving, having an amazing day. Thanks so much, adios.